Hi everybody! This is Leia here with another daily reading for you. For the week of September 22nd through 28th, I felt pulled to use The Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I've done a video review on this deck, so if you like the cards, take a look at the link I've posted in the description box. And we're also using Doreen Virtue's Messages from Your Angels Oracle cards, which is one of her earliest and I still love using it to this day. The cards were shuffled and picked randomly before filming, as I always like saying, with the intention that everyone who feels called to watch these videos receives a helpful and uplifting message. So, if you're ready to see our one card per deck for the day, go ahead and proceed for our message from Spirit. Hi again, this is our reading for September 27th and 28th. Saturday and Sunday. It's another weekend, and these are our cards for this reading. We have number 11 from the Major Arcana, Strength, Archangel Ariel. Great inner strength. Release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. And Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. It is just so awesome to me how our cards for the week all link up from one day to the next. Watch the videos in order of their day and you'll see what I mean. For example, yesterday forgiveness came up for us and it does again today. For our weekend message, we are being guided to stand in our power, and true power, authentic power, knows that it doesn't have to be harsh for it to be effective. Coming from a place of love and compassion can require a lot of our inner strength, especially if we were programmed for a long time to buy into mainstream society's idea of power, which involves putting yourself above others in such a way where you step on them to get ahead because you view life as a competition. This is a reminder that we can be strong and loving at the same time. The Archangel Gabriel card encourages us to take this message further, to speak up and communicate our needs and what matters to us. We may have held back in the past because we thought we were imposing on others, but we can't go wrong if we speak coming from a place of love. Coming from a place of simply wanting what's best for the highest good of all. If you haven't seen the video for our previous weekend reading, the one for September 20th and 21st, go ahead and watch it. The message could very easily be an extension of this one, and you'll see what I mean after you've reviewed it, even if you've already seen it before. So I wish you a happy weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. That concludes another daily reading video. If you enjoyed it, by all means, feel free to share it with anyone else you know will benefit. I'll speak to you again very soon. Namaste.